Hi everyone, I'm Jeff Krause and today we're going to talk about how a probe might affect devices under test. Trade-off between different types of probes and how the electrical characteristic of the probe affect the circuit are important to understand to ensure accurate and reliable measurements. There are three possibilities when a probe is connected to a circuit. The best case is the true size and shape of the signal gets to the oscilloscope. Another possibility is the probe alters the signal in some way. The worst case scenario is the operation of the device under test changes because of the attached probe. When a probe is connected to a circuit, it takes some energy present in the circuit and transfers it into the oscilloscope input. The probe is another load that must be driven by the signal source and this load can change the signal shape or even change the behavior of the device under test. Probes are designed with a higher resistance in the probe tip in hope of reducing the energy drawn from the circuit and thus to reduce the loading. This is important but only makes a difference at DC or low frequency AC signals. Let's consider the effects of frequency on the probe's impedance. At DC or low frequencies, the high input resistance dominates the overall impedance. As frequency increases, the capacitance dominates the impedance and dramatically lowers the overall impedance. The result of a high probe capacitance shows up in the signal shape. 